FNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, 1st of April, Basil Chapman here on this Tiger Financial News Network 10 a.m. market update. And we're looking um, at uh, where we're we going. We're going to the Dow up 75. Very sharp. This is what I was warning yesterday at a peak D in the Chapman Wave methodology, the fourth highest peak. Anything can happen. And I was afraid that we would not have a narrow close, but instead, if we start to accelerate down, I just didn't know what would happen, and yes, we did. We got, went over 550 points down. Nice move above the nine-period moving average today, uh, up 81 in the Dow. Day is down, 34,757. The S&P also made that peak D in the Chapman Wave methodology. Uh, we made the peak D at 4627.63 four sessions ago. It's up about six points today, 4537, standing a little over the nine-period exponential moving average, the QQQ. Uh, only is at a peak B, and that's uh, quite important because it suggests if the technicals are still strong, somehow or other there should be a higher high to make a leg C and maybe even a leg D. We'll see what happens is above the nine period moving average down a dollar and a half at 361. We're looking at the IWM also made a peak D like the down the S&P um, and it pulled back and went to the 14 period moving average up $2 at 207.29. That 200 period moving average on the left, this daily chart, whew, that 211 is very strong resistance. Gold, we're going to look at gold Friday. Gold always uh, does something weird on a Friday, down 20 at 1933. Just stuck in this range, as I said, the rectangle with an arch formation and a second arch. That's what we're looking at, looking at crude oil. It made lower lows. Um, at, on the way down and then had a big sharp rally to an H pattern at two is looking like an M it's down uh, it's about unchanged at 100.24 stuck in a range fairly narrow range we're looking at the TLT and this is really important the TLT dropped again down to 130.08 so yields are pushing high Fed doesn't even have to do much because the, the yields are doing it for them well we're going to be back in a moment for the Tiger Technicians Hour. Hope you can stay. Check out my opening call, my daily newsletter. And wow, this is going to be an important session going into Tuesday. It's really important that there is some liftoff in the market to say that we're trying to form some kind of a base because the daily technicals are actually very good in a number of these things. I'll be back in a moment. Hope you can stay. Battle the and otherwise have a wonderful weekend. Great programming here all day. Uh, see you in the moment.